I'm going to do a sleep experiment. I'm going to um, basically inhale some of this raw mugwort um, out of this shell, and I already have a little bit burning in there. And uh, I'm going to burn it for a little while and inhale quite a bit of it. And um, then I'm also going to eat some of this uh, raw mugwort as well. Um, same mugwort. Um, but I'd like to emphasize it as raw, unprocessed. That's the kind that I find that works best. And um, really, mugwort is a very, uh, it's a very spiritual um, implement, especially for Northern Europeans, uh, kind of travel to other traditions from Northern Europe. And um, it, it has the same functionality as uh, American white sage. Um, but it's just the European version, basically. I mean, some people won't agree with that, but that's just my idea about it. Um, it can be used for visions, for divination, for enhancing dreams and making them more vivid, um, contact with the divine, um, basically getting in touch with one's uh, subconscious. Uh, there, there's multiple uses for it. Um, I'm going to be both inhaling it and digesting some of it. So I'm going to use about two pinches uh, of mugwort and I'm going to ingest that and while... I mean, after I uh, burn quite a bit of this, and uh, you really have to inhale this through your mouth, by the way, because I found if you inhale it through your nose, this stuff can really burn. Um, that's just my experience. If you're going to burn it as an offering or just to um, have it in the air, I would highly recommend using something like this. It's uh. It's basically like a, I guess you could say an herb burner or a, or a hookah burner. Um, it's it's hollow inside. It has some holes in there. You put some herb or hookah on top, and uh, then you can light it. And it has ventilation, and it has a nice little stand on it. So if you're gonna use it as an offering or just kind of burn some to have it in the air, I'd recommend that. This I I'm using this shell because I'm I'm trying to inhale more of it. And uh, the shell should have about two holes in the side if you're using a shell because it does need ventilation, but the shell gives a, a nice wide surface to burn more of it. And inhale through the mouth, not the nose, because it does burn the nose. But um, honestly, mugwort is fairly potent. <clears throat> you don't need to inhale a lot of it to feel the effects. One inhalation will kind of give you the effects. I mean, if you're especially uh, sensitive to uh, spiritual herbs, then um, like myself, then um, you should feel the effects pretty readily, pretty pretty readily, uh, pretty immediately. And uh, it's a it's a cousin of uh, absinthe, <laughs> and uh, it is it does have some hallucinogenic properties. Not not enough to be classified as a as a hallucinogenic drug, I don't think, but um. It is a cousin of absinthe, and um, it is it is very much something that I've burned in large quantities, especially under a towel. If you go under a cloak, um, I recommend uh, a moist towel. Um, if you burn large amounts of it and inhale it, um, you can get uh, in touch with uh, your more subconscious elements as well as um, uh, kind of the spiritual nature uh, of your mind. And um, that's why it's good for divination. That's why it's good for... Um, if you want to have a heightened, heightened state of awareness uh, spiritually and uh, things along that line. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn some more of this, uh, ingest some of it, go to sleep, wake up and kind of record uh, what kind of dream I had, what the quality was, uh, if it was more vivid or not. And um, I'm just doing this to kind of give you an example of uh, one of the practices you, can, practices you can do with this herb, mugwort, once again. And um, maybe inspire you to uh, experiment with dreaming yourself because it's a very potent tool uh, in a spiritualist person's life. So I'm going to go ahead and end it there, burn a little bit more of this, ingest some. Um, you know what? I'll go ahead and ingest some right now. There are stems. <laughs> stems are not pleasant. But I'm not really doing it for the flavor. Kind of tastes like 
It kind of tastes like eating tobacco. I'm not chewing tobacco, but let's go ahead and take a little bit more. Got too much stem there. Really just swallow it. But uh, yeah, that's really all it takes. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, record what I find uh, tomorrow. Maybe not in the morning. Maybe later on because I have to go to work. But um, I will let you know uh, just in a second uh, what uh, what happens. Hello, Thank everyone. You. So um, after I took that mugwort, after I inhaled quite a bit of it, um, I did have some uh, very vivid dreams. Um, they were um, they were very vibrant. They felt very similar to reality, however, which was very interesting. Um, these dreams uh, were were very mundane in their subject matter. Um, it just had to do with me going through different uh, processes in life. And um, it made me think that maybe I should look more closely at my own life and not necessarily the vaster concepts. So uh, that was kind of the result of me inhaling the mugwort and ingesting it. And um, it, made me, it made me realize that I need to look more closely at my down-to-earth life, my material life, before I look at um, the life that I live uh, beyond that, uh, the spiritual life. So, um, hey, it was worth trying, and uh, I will certainly try it again. I'll burn that mugwort, and I'll ingest some, and uh, we'll see if we can get some uh, different results in the future. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and y'all have a great day.